your daughter uploaded. Oh my god, oh, she's been my little baby. I love her. Chef Lindsay surprised the final six with their loved ones. Oh. <sighs> Probably the greatest feeling in the world right now. As soon as their family visits were over. <laughs> Chef Ramsay began a series of tasks which would determine which five of the remaining six chefs would be getting black jackets. One, two, three. In the first of three tasks, each chef had to select random ingredients on the spot and then make a dish that would impress Chef Ramsay. We are just out for blood. Pull up one out black jackets, right? Heidi's duck breast with sweet potato puree. And Heather's French chicken breast with rice and broccoli. Chicken style. Chicken. Turned them the first two black jackets and the key to the black jacket lounge. Oh my god! Oh, this is so cool. In the second challenge, bring in the lock cases. The four remaining chefs were delivered the exact same ingredients and were tasked with making their dishes stand out. <laughs> Andrew failed with his eggplant. How fixed was that? Kimberly burned hers and tried to hide it in her puree. We need texture of the puree. That's one way to do it. Just put the whole dish in a blender and make baby food. While Polly, that looks nice. And Lion, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. She impressed and earned their black jackets and keys to the lounge. With only one black jacket left, Kimberly and Andrew cooked for their lives in the third and final challenge. The pressure is on, and it's not going to be coming off until I have that black jacket. No, two seconds, Sam. I'm sorry, but it's time for you to go home on some cute. Made a filet for that time with a side of asparagus. Asparagus, just a little bit left. And Andrew made a New York strip up over a potato puree. Funny thing, when Chef Ramsey put the decision in the hands of her new black jacket brigade. Hey, you don't know who cooked which dish. Heidi and Ryan chose Andrew's strip. Andrew's strip chef. But Andrew's love interest, Heather. It was Kimberly's. And best buddy, Polly. Filet both chose Kimberly's dish, creating a tie. I give you the votes, you give it back to me. Which Chef Ramsay had to break. Kimberly. And the Andrew's dream of becoming head chef at Yardford Southern Table and Bar at the Venetian in Las Vegas. <laughs> And then, continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of there. Well done. Thank you, Thank you. Good job. Let's do great. Do you like the filet? I did. It was really good. I am, like, just living in such a surreal moment. Ah! Did I really get the drink? I never thought I would make it this far. Yes. I'm not here because I have great hair and a, and a nice smile. You know, I'm here because I can actually talk. Yay! I hate that <laughs> bitch, Kim. She doesn't deserve to be here. Hey, in a blind taste test, you said her protein was better than. It was me who sent him home. I just wanted Andrew to be here with me, man. You can't be upset in a competition where there can really be one winner. You know, him and Andrew could have won this whole entire thing, so, you know, he just needs to get over it really quick. I let my boy down. Venetian in Las Vegas. So today, 
I thought I'd bring a little bit of Vegas into Hell's Kitchen. Awesome. Right now, I'd like all of you to have a little seat at my table. Let's go. Yeah. Paulie Blair, Heather, Brian, Heidi, and Kimberly. Thank you. I am a card check. I like to keep that on the down low so that I can come in all inconspicuous like and then take everybody's money. Uh, right. Who's played poker before? I have one. <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> so I just, yes, chef. Good. This is Gabby. Here's how it's going to work. Each of you, I'm going to get six ingredients to make one stunning dish. I'm going to get you all started with three ingredients that you all need to use across that dish. Now, your first card is chicken. Next, potatoes. This is a lovely one. Smoked bacon. I knocked that chicken out of the park yesterday, got into this black coat. You guys will stand a chance next to me. Now, each of you is going to require three more ingredients. I'm going to reveal one ingredient at a time. If you want it, hit your buzzer. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once you have six, you're done. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the first ingredient is carrots. Wow, well, Heidi, it's yours. Okay. Good. Green beans. Oh, oh, wow, boy, yeah, that's you. Awesome. Next ingredient is... I feel like I'm on a game show right now. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Just hitting the buzzer, hitting the buzzer, hitting the buzzer. Good job. Oh, Heidi. Do I want to hurt it? I wanted that this guy. I kind of cut that better than you. What came first? Chicken or the egg? Ooh, Heather. Mushrooms. Oh. Well done. Right, nothing. Try and chat. I feel like I'm in slow motion here and everybody has to sleep. Whoopies. Wow, Heather. <laughs> oh, what was that? This is a tabaroo. Wow. Right, still no ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is starting to get a little bit uh, nerve wracking. I'm going to get stuck with something ridiculous. Breadcrumbs. Oh, okay. Let's start. Next one. Did you almost Wow. <laughs> Dijon, black garlic, and mushrooms. Kimberly, it's done. Spinach. Wow. Ryan, well done. Macaroni cheese. Yeah. Cheese, eggs, peas. Heather, you're out. White wine. White wine, yes. Paulie. Damn it. You are done. Paulie, white wine and green beans and pecans. Ryan and Heidi, final two. <laughs> leeks. <laughs> Ryan, fresh up spinach, leeks. These are the cards I have been Literally. <laughs> Lady Luck is not on my side. Heidi, the next card is yours. Fine, okay. Lemon. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. 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 You go, girl. You <laughs> juice that lemon. That's what I wanted. So, Swiss chard carrots, but I've never seen anyone so excited for that. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. You will all have 30 minutes. Your time starts. Now, let's go, guys. Let's go. Thirty minutes is nothing. I take longer than thirty minutes sometimes. Let alone make an entire proposed dish for Chef Ramsay here in Hell's Kitchen in a black jacket. Anybody have cayenne? No. Anybody? Cayenne? My red boy. Anybody? Pecorino. Cayenne pepper. Anybody? No. I haven't seen it. Bye. There's a weird vibe in the kitchen today. We used to help each other during challenges, and today we're out for ourselves. I mean. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. It's not a team challenge. You know, we're all out for blood. It's getting real crowded. Yeah, I know. We've got 15 minutes to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry. I'm behind you, huh? I feel Brian right next to me. I'm right there. Heather's right there. Heidi's right there. Come in. Sorry, Heather. Sorry, Heather. Sorry, Heather. Sorry, Heather. Sorry, Heather. Get the f*** out of my way. Two minutes to go. Yes, sir. I want to take some press on those plates as well, yes? Yes, sir. Come on down, guys. Hi guys in between. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Come on, Heidi. one, and play. Right, to help me judge this very important challenge, I've invited a very special guest. She was named by Food and Wine magazines as one of the best new chefs. She is the executive chef and owner of two of Portland best restaurants, the Sunshine Tavern and Lincoln. We welcome Chef Jen Lewis. Jen, welcome, my darling. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. You look great. It's 
nerve-wracking to always cook for a new chef, and I see this cute little lady walk in to me, she has a cool haircut, I'm like, hey, you know, maybe she's not going to be too hard. Now, chef, to my left, this is what we call the leader's chair. If Chef Lewis and myself love the dish, we'll take a seat in that chair. Now, that seat is yours, unless Chef and I like a dish less than yours. Therefore, the one that sits in the leader's chair at the end of the challenge is the winner. Got it? Yes, yeah, Chef. Right, let's start off with Kimberly. Let's go. Kimberly starts off the Play Your Hand Ingredient Challenge with a pan seared chicken with a Dijon crust and red smashed potatoes. The chicken is moist, really tender. And I can taste a little bit of Dijon, but it's not overwhelming. It's a delicious dish. Thanks. Thank you, Jeff. Great job. Good job. Great start. Thanks, and Jeff. take your place Thanks, in Jeff. the chair. <sighs> Next up, to knock you off your perch, Polly. Polly has prepared a pecan crusted breast of chicken over potato puree with white wine and bacon saute green beans. Got all your elements. Seasoned beautifully, and the salt is right on it. Thank you, Jeff. Great dish. Why the most fun? I'm not surprised. I'm learning from a master. You have taught me a lot, and I'm trying to implement all the changes that you've taught me. Hey, Polly, yeah. Uh, you want to get your nose out of Chef Ramsey's Um, Chef, the question is, is Polly's chicken dish better than Kimberly's? I think it is. Don't no worry. Take your spot. Next up, Heidi. Let's go. With Polly perched on the throne, Heidi steps up with her bone-in chicken featuring a purple and chive mashed potato puree. And a carrot and tarragon puree. And Swiss chard sautéed in bacon. Some lemon in there. Yes. That's delicious. Yes. Thank you. I think it's a really nice dish and maybe a little bit busy as far as okay. dish. It seems like there's one element too many. But that Heidi's dish looks a little bit ridiculous. It just kind of looks like some blobs. Sorry, Heidi. I'm not sorry. Uh, Polly's dish has a little more cohesiveness to it um, compared to yours. It wasn't good enough to be Polly. Okay. okay. Thank you, Chef. Next up. Ryan, please, let's go. With Heidi's dish failing to dethrone Polly, Ryan looks to take over with her breadcrumb crusted chicken served on a bed of potatoes, spinach, leeks, and bacon. Very well seasoned. The chicken's on the verge of being slightly dry for me. Yeah, I agree. It's Ryan's dish better than Polly's. It's not better than Polly's. Polly's bringing it right now. It is bringing it right now. <laughs> I want to go sit in that chair, but I'm just blue it. Right, what's up left? To the front, boy. I beat everybody else so far. I just one more person. My God, this in the bag. Heather, let's go. With Polly sitting pretty, Heather hopes to bring him down with her rustic egg and pecorino cheese crusted chicken breast paired with potatoes and peas. Visually, it's beautiful. It's really yeah. simple. I like your cheese. That's fun. Polly, don't get comfortable. Thanks for warming up my chair, bro. It's really flavorful. Delicious, rustic, farming. So, I'm not people for all this. <laughs> you guys are seasoning really well. It's a hard thing. I think I'm going to go with With Polly occupying the coveted leader's chair, Chef Ramsay and Portland's Jen Lewis looks really flavorful. are now deciding if Heather's dish is good enough to unseat him and win the challenge. Delicious, rustic, charming. So, I'm not going to go for this. You guys are seasoning really well. That's a hard thing. Two very good dishes. I think I'm going to go with Heather. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. I won the first black jacket challenge. Ah, uh, amazing. Bye, Polly. Get off my <laughs> chair. Heather. I should have won that challenge. There's no way that Heather beat me. Ah, that's just my life. Amazing feedback. Thank you. All of you joined me in thank you, uh, Chef, Thank you very much, Chef. Thank you so much. Great job, you guys. Thank you very much. Heather, for winning the first individual Black Jacket Challenge, you're about to receive the royal treatment in Las Vegas. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! I've never been to Las Vegas. <laughs> Just got real. You will be brought straight to the Bleacher Hotel, where they have set aside the presentation suite for you tonight. <laughs> Not only is it 7,000 square foot in size, but it comes with its own butler. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. Oh my god, this is not happening. This is not real life. As for the rest of you, Zane House Kitchen is Recycling Day. Oh god.
the dumpsters are actually filled to the brim. I want all the garbage taken out, separated from compost, recycling, and trash. That sucks. I've never been to Las Vegas. Who wants to get in the dumpster? And the, since this day in Vegas is so amazing, it should not be experienced alone. So you may select right now one <laughs> chef to join you. Look at Kimberly's face. Wow. I don't want to. I don't want to. Heather promised that if she won, she was going to take me on her trip. Holy I'm going to have to pick this person because I respect her as a chef. So I'm going to have to go with Heidi. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Heather, what the I thought we had a deal. Oh, God. Heidi is my biggest competitor. you got to keep your friends close and your enemies closer. She's got a lot of work to do. Here we go. Oh, I could be going to Vegas. Nope. Dad, we're doing that. <laughs> I hate my life. I go home. Today is recycling day, so I get to pick through the trash once again. This is going to suck. Oh. Let's go. Yeah, it's got Oh, great rain. This is the most disgusting thing ever. Oh, it's just my luck. I was one win away from being in Vegas. This is bad. That's gross. And now I'm sifting through garbage in the rain. Oh, I feel like a sewer rat. Just like covered in this disgusting schmeck. Oh, he's coming all that. If I win a challenge next, it's going to be you guys that I'm picking. Definitely not Heather. I thought Heather was going to pick me to go to Vegas with her. But now I know that Heather's kind of shady. What a liar. Yeah, that's I just chose her parents for now, so. I really want to snap, bitch. <laughs> Exactly. Wow. Beautiful. 
coming up. How long is Carbonara? Well, I'm sorry. Do not quit on us. Take a breath. You're good. You want to go home? I don't know what's happening. Hello, Carbonara. 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 I'm here to finish the job. You're not finished? Yeah, I'm finished. 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 I'm
They're still not cooking. Polly is freaking out. He gets mad, and then he screws something up, and then he gets even more mad, and then he screws more stuff up. What the f***? Polly's vegetarian is going to be out of business real quickly here. Oh, wait, man. Can I do this? I mean, I'll do it. I can't do all four. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's like more than Oh, come on, Kimberly. I'm going to walk, okay? Yes, yes, go. Okay, going. We're going up behind. Chef, is that an appropriate portion? Come on, Kimberly. You're asking the most dumbest question. Is that appropriate? What do you think? It's only plating. It's not that hard. But he just instantly stresses me out. Now you like it. Irritating. Chef, girlfriend. what else do we need for Bernice? No, up, Kimberly. Up, up, up. Yes, Let's Chef. Go. Ready, lock the tail. Not so. No answer. Coming, right now. Tell my old vegetarian, please. No pancetta. No pancetta, Chef. Where's the scallops? Scallops, scallops, Paul. Polly, scallops, please. Where's the scallops? 90 seconds. Take a look on your shoulder. <laughs> idiot. Hey, black jacket. Hey, Heather. Yes, sir. Your risotto with the scallops and the carbonara. I Stop called her scallops. Come on. We can't, like, start <laughs> failing already here. Andy, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, Andy. Drop the scallops with me. Hey, all of you, come here. Let's f*** down. Sorry, Andy. Hey, let's f*** down. Get a bird. Get a f***ing bird. I have f***ing no idea what the f*** is going on. My big question to you all, who are you guys? It's an hour into a dinner service in which each of the black jackets is taking a turn working as Chef Ramsay's sous chef. Where's the scallops? And Polly's latest mistake on the fish station. 90 seconds! Has forced Chef Ramsay to call on one of his dinner guests to step in. Andy, I'm so sorry to interrupt the evening. Drop the scallops to his face. Hey, all of you, come here and f*** down! Sorry, Andy. Hey, that's the now! It's gonna burn! It's gonna burn! I have no idea what the is going on. My big question to you all who are you guys? You're sending me backwards! Take a minute, get organized, or don't come back in the kitchen! Yes, yes, yes. Alright, listen, let's yes. just stay what we're doing right. what we were doing. Yes. We were fine. We were yes. both yes. Oh, on our. You guys need to be hey. on me though too. Alright, listen. Yes, you, you got, got it. me, Heidi, you okay? You got it. I'm gonna drive you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Andy. With sous chef Andy's help, appetizers are once again leaving the kitchen. Wow. Man, this is delicious. Yeah, it really is. You back on the <laughs> station. Can I have a top place for the fish, please? Yes, yeah, chef. Let's go. Polly, where are you at? I'm coming to fish. You're on the hot plate, Polly. I'm on the hot plate. Yeah, chef. I'm on the exact chef at my job, so. I'm very comfortable with those calling checks, making sure everything's all right, looking at things. Next order, let's go. Tell them we come back to summer. One of strip, one lamb, one sea bass, one wellington. I've been doing this for a long time, you know? All right, Patty, two strip, one salmon, one wellington. No, oh, no, excuse no, me. no. Two salmon, one New York strip, one sea bass, one wellington. One lamb. One lamb. And I need two, and I need two... Two, one lamb, two salmon, one strip, one sea bass, one wellington. This is how I have the order. This is after. I need those two strip, salmon, the vegetarian, those two. Two salmon, one new strip, one lamb, one wellington, one sea bass. Yes, chef. That is it. Seriously, Polly? I swear to God, if I could punch him in the bird, I would. Go on, it's Ryan. Coming right now, chef. Coming up, lamb. Salmon urgently. Salmon walking behind Ryan. Thank you. Sauce at the same time. Yes, yeah, Chef. Sorry about that. Service, please. Let's go. On order and fire, Kimberly. And I mean move. Four cup of heavy lemon, two scallops, two carbonara. Hey! What's my time on two carbonara and two scallops? I need three minutes on the carbonara. It's three minutes okay with those two scallops. Hello, Heather. Drop your scallops. Where are my scallops? Oh. They're coming, Polly. All right, walk with the carbonara. Thank sure. you. Walk with the carbonara. Oh, sorry. Behind here. Okay. Where's the scallops? Yeah. Scallops. Come oh, on, Polly. Let's go. Yes, sir. Fast. 
just cross and pass over the cops. The bad thing is that you actually put them on the plane. And uh, young lady, yeah, come over. And you come here as well. Five seconds, Chef, I'll be walking. Honestly. Coming, coming, sorry, Chef. Guys, the trip is full Thank you. Service, please. Thank you. Paulie, take over the garnish. Ryan, explain the garnish. You play what's yes, going on, sir. please. I'm excited. I want to be up there. I want to get this kitchen back up to pay. We're going to want to get that going soon. Go to the back. So see my footage from first, right? Yeah, chef. Yeah, chef. This is my turn. Give me a chance here to get everybody back on the same page. See that garnish? How far out is that? Bad, I'm ready. All right, bad garnish. I have well the garnish right. Right over here. Go left, please. Can I try that, chef? Okay, see this? Paulie, what's out? See that? Okay. Well, I can't chef. Cold in the middle. Chef. Heather! It's cold. Yep. There's no room for error. There's no room for <laughs> If I can't get it together, I could be going home tonight. Heather? Yes, chef. I'm done with you sending Stop again. I'm just chopping the I'm like, I always do. Let's win the tickets. With entrees being installed. Chef Ramsay is now trying to get the rest of the appetizers out. All right, fine. Two caramel, two risotto, followed by two spellets, one carbonara, one risotto, yes? It's three and two, I thought you just said. Pretty much. No. We're doing two twos at the same time. Oh, my God. You're the one getting confused, Kimberly. Yes, Chef. You can push that risotto. Okay, I'm pushing it as fast as I can, guys. Heard. It's terrible. What is going on? Thanks a lot. This is not what I want Chef Ramsay to see from me as far as being a stew chef goes. Carbonara is going with that first risotto. I need four minutes. The risottos are going together, Kim. I feel like quicksand. Just grab the hold of my feet, suck me in. I have no air, no light. I'm just numb. How long on carbonara? Can you get close? Done. Kim, we got to work together with that. Oh, what are you having? Take a breath. You're good. You're good. You're fine. Just take a breath. Not quit on us. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, hey. What are you panicking about? I don't know, Chef. Hey, look at me. Do you want to go home? I don't know, Chef. Kim, we got to walk together with that carbonara, okay? I need help. I'm, I'm done. No, you're not done. You're not done. Do not quit on us. Oh, my God. What are you panicking about? I don't know, Chef. Hey, look at me. Do you want to go home? I don't know, Chef. You want to start crying? I don't. I've got a f coming here. I'm not going to cry. I, yeah, you're not going to cry. No, Chef. No. No, I'm not a quitter. I don't want my daughter to see that mommy just quit and walked away because she got angry. I'm not going to cry. I don't cry. I'm not done. The least I can do is push through, persevere, and do my f best. Where's the best? Best is coming, Chef. Well, I went out. See you better. Where's the best garnish? Here's the best garnish. <laughs> Hey, hey, all of you. Hey, all of you, come here. Rob Oh, man. I just tasted it. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. All of you. All of you. All of you. Get the out of there. Get out. Aaron, Andy, can you do me a favor? Can you just go put a jacket on, please? Yes, sir. I'm so sorry. That sushi is just right there. I am definitely pissed that we got kicked out. I didn't get a turn at the pass, and we are definitely taking steps backwards at this point. Hey, hey, all of you, I've never seen black jackets in such disarray. Two nominees, get out! <laughs> embarrassment! What do you guys want to do? Probably, you know, the opposite of luck. My fish did get, not one fish got sent back. You were delusional, Paul. Not one you fish got sent back. You had lots of fish that were coming back. I had lots of that were coming back. I worked with Paul. He's such a crybaby. He will not take, you know, responsibility for his mistake. Like, grow the f up. Listen, I'm, I'm the only dude exact. I knew, I knew this. Of course it is. I was just saying who I was mm. putting up there. Doesn't mean you're going up there, Polly. The other girls could have a different opinion. No, because you're all going to say me. No. All right, who else? Who else? I, I, Kim, you know, Axe just, you were distracting him. 
That's why it's, 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 it's a good. I'm done. Talking. I'm done calling. Now you're next. Can you just say who you have right. up? I think it's Heather and Kim because Heather kept sending up all. My defense, I was just trying to crawl up. Oh, that was left for me. That's what I'm saying. Is that's fine. You so, think that was Kim. Me? Kim, don't feel bad about whoever you nominate. But we all. No one, you know what I mean? Which had the biggest wrench in the engine room, basically. It was Polly. Alright, so me is love. I'm not putting myself up. You can save me, I don't care. Polly, because you had. That's the thing. Yeah, I'll put up Heather and Polly. Alright, Polly, because you've been a complete cluster all day. Okay, and then, alright, and then you, Ryan? Polly, to send up the best target with Rob Manchetta, I mean, that was, that's basically what sent us out. Alright, whatever. Of course, none of the girls did anything wrong. These girls are such shysty. You got four girls, one dude. I'm going to be the odd man out. They're going to put me out. There's nepotism, you know, and that's the bottom line. The only guy, the only guy here. No, that's not it. You don't even act like you had a perfect service. Don't even act like it. Nobody Nobody I'm not putting you up because you're a guy. That's right now. I'm not saying I don't deserve to be out there, but it's just funny how everybody else. But you're saying is the reason why you're up there is because you're the only guy left. There is no truth that we're singling out Paulie because he's a guy. And that's, that's, I don't play that card. He's just grasping at straws right now. What if, if I say tomorrow, I'll be the, I'll be the unanimous decision also. I uh, know. Okay. So you don't get to go up because you thought that, you know, we were going to vote you up because you're a guy. That's what you're fighting with? She up, she up, but I'm the one, I'm the man in the decision. You, you have the most. After one of the worst black jacket dinner services in the history of Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsey is ready to hear which two chefs have been nominated for elimination. Have you reached the consensus? Yes, yes, Chef. Chef. Yeah. Right. First nominee and why? So her first nominee is Kimberly. She just seemed to kind of break down a little bit. Second nominee and why? Our second nominee is Polly. He seemed to be fighting against us more than letting us help him and be on the same page. Polly, Kimberly, step forward. Uh, Kimberly, a very important question for you. Have you peaked? Absolutely not. I just started growing. I just started learning. Um, I haven't had years of culinary school behind me. I'm impressed with how fast I've been able to learn, but I'm still fun. I'm definitely not done. Bring one else when you have that frozen moment. I need help. I'm f lost. I'm done. Do not quit on us. Oh my God. I want to go home. I don't know, Jeff. Yeah, it was overwhelming tonight, but I thought back. I have not given up. I still have a lot to give. I know I still have a lot to learn, and I'm willing to you know, to close my mouth and open my ears and do so. And I'm hoping I still have that chance. Paulie, voice of Steakhouse House Kitchen. I have an amazing fight. I am strong in the kitchen. I think that you know that I'm not the weakest chef here. Listen, I've never made an excuse for a poor performance. I will never tell you that it was somebody else's problem. And I and I will take a tone for my sin. But everything seems to be my fault tonight. Collectively, I was the unanimous decision. All these four of these girls have worked together. Obviously, I'm the odd man now. These girls that talk together. They hang out together. I have not had, I have not had, you know, like, that communication. That is a hot mouth excuse, Polly. It's my turn to speak. Yeah, I'm but you're lying. Yeah. I am not the only person that created a, this array in that kitchen. You have to go, everybody was This is tough, but I do have my decision. <laughs> the person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... <laughs> Take off your jacket. I can't think of any other person in this competition that has grown as much as you. Thank you. But you're not ready to become an extra chef at Yalba. It's okay. I'm so thankful for the opportunity. Bye, Bye guys. guys. See you later. See you later, Kim. When I first came here, no one believed in me. I used one can of can for it. I actually didn't even really believe in myself. One out of five. Uh, but I've come a long way from my canned clams and my crappy pepper dough. Kimberly Lamb comes peacefully. Thank you, Chef. The job, Ken. I showed that I had progressed. Sorry, that's four out of five. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. There's some people I totally hated and just wanted to punch. Don't come in. I'm ready to f*** you. I'm ready to f*** you. Let me 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 f*** you.
是。Teaching, but you know I'm a little hard-headed, so sometimes when you're taking the ass, ah, the worst bastardization of a ribeye. Was there anything redeeming about it at all? Yeah, the plate you served it on. What is it that you think that I really need to work on? How long have we got? I haven't got that time to open the kitchen. I think this goes to self-attention. Boy, it's fine. Congratulations. It made me better. I'm hungry and do well. It's going to spur me on even harder. The catfish is cooked fantastic. You did a really good job of letting the seafood be the star. Thank you, chef. Yeah, thank you. Definitely had a lot of fun. You know, just meeting some good people. This competition is something I'll never. This dream is over. But it's not how many times you get knocked down. It's how many times you get up. You gotta come back and you gotta come on. All three of you know it was a very disappointing performance. After a night like tonight, there's something very important I need to talk to you all about. And trust me, I can't wait till tomorrow morning. You need to get started on your next challenge right now. Next up on Hell's Kitchen. Please do not take this person like When the final three have a heart to heart. I'm concentrated on the yard bird and I don't see you running it. Okay. And Heidi goes on the attack. What you and Andrew did was not good. So just because like I liked him, it was a little bit more than liking him. Yes. Yeah. 